I like wine, I like rum, I like vodka. But why is the rum gone? Where is all the rum gone? Hello everyone, this is Artemis here for Vita Day 13, and which will probably be posted on the 14th. This is Kaylee. You're you like gonna say hi? Hi! That works. And today we're just gonna sit here and drink alcohol and talk about cartoons. Because we're adults. Take your alcohol. Make me accurate. Um, I'm drinking another water bottle. I'm gonna my shirt a little bit. Um, okay. Are you just trying to cover all your clothing in wine? No. I'm gonna take my hat before it winds up. No, because my hair is all wine. frizzy. Don't do it. No one was wearing that. No, not backwards. I look like freaking what's his face from recess. That was a cartoon I actually never watched. Really? Really. TJ, that's his name. I loved Recess. She, she's There's an age gap. about it like I would know. There's an age gap. It was more of a time gap because it was on a time slot where I was doing other things. I liked Family Channel up until like I was 24. Because it looked so. kind of fun. Like I, I won't lie. It did look like a fun cartoon. Just it was never on my radar because of its time slot. I'm adjusting the mic so I apologize for any weird sounds. Like the dog making weird noises. Well, it was more like any sounds that would be like friction and scraping across chrome finish. What what was big about recess for you? There was a lot of different there was a lot of different like the group of people, there was a lot of different stereotypes in it, but they weren't really stereotypes. They were just like different people and they all hung out together. I don't know, which is fun. I don't know, like I mean I watched it. I didn't really pay that much attention. What was there like an overarching thought? I know it got at least one movie. Yeah. Was the movie any good? The movie was okay. I can't remember it that much. It was all, all I know is James Woods was in it. Really? Yeah, he was oh. He was the guy who was trying to... He was the antagonist. Hmm. I, I was going to say he was doing a plot point, and I'm like, I don't know the plot. I don't remember the movie very well. I remember the show. Okay, so that was one. But one we both touched on that we liked was Pinky and the Brain. Yes. Speak up so that I can hear you. Yes! I, I don't know what drew me to Pinky in the Brain so much, but it was a lot of fun to watch. Especially when you could see there was a potential victory in sight for the brain, <laughs> and he just throws it away. And some of the reasons were like, why? Why would you do that? It was right there. And those were just like, oh my god, that's really sweet. Like, do you remember the Christmas episode where he like went to the North Pole, got all these brain dolls sent around the world, and they were supposed to brainwash everyone. Yeah. Like they hypnotized everyone. They had someone who sounded like Bill Clinton on yeah, the show, yeah, but yeah. they didn't actually show the Bill Clinton because of the way cartoons did that for whatever reason. And so he had most of the world hypnotized because of these stupid dolls. And he comes across Pinky's letter to Santa, where all Pinky asked for was Brain to be successful. And it just touched Brain so much that he just told everyone to have a Merry Christmas, not to listen to him, not to make him the rule of the world. It was like, wow. That's so sweet! I'm partial to Pinky. Is that because you, you relate to Pinky? No, actually. It's because he's just so nice. I don't know that Pinky was so much directly nice. Like, he had a lot of sweet intent. Do not say that he's stupid Kay. because he's not stupid. Number one, yes, he is stupid. No, he's not! Number two is he, he seemed to have a nature of preferential treatment to people he knew more than anything. So it was a case of, if you were there, there was no outward malice, but he needed to actually have an association to you to treat you with any real favor. Maybe I don't remember the show as well as I'd like to. I haven't seen it in so long. Neither have I. Like, I was in high school when I was last watching it. Because old. I know I'm old. I've been out of high school for like 15 years. What year is it? 2017? I've been out of high school for, when did I, I graduated in 2008. I know you're big into Disney, but did you prefer Disney over Warner Brothers? I prefer Disney over most. That's people. because you're wrong. I'm not wrong. Warner Brothers was Who where Who loves at. Disney? Everyone. No, no. Except for you, because you're wrong. Warner Brothers was where it's at. Warner Brothers had the creativity. Now, both sides have their checkered pass with matters of racism and things like that. Like, we know there's that movie, The Song of the South, I think it was, from Disney that got really buried. Yeah. Though I actually had a book from that movie about the hare that lived in the briar patch. Like, there was a whole short in that movie cartoon thing 
that I actually had a book of. And that was my first association with it. I didn't know it came from that movie or anything. And obviously, Warner Bros. had a lot of stereotypically drawn characters yeah. from that, that weren't like actual involved regular characters. They were caricatures of these places, just kind of like minstrel shows kind of things. So, products of their time, unfortunately. Not, not stepping ahead of where they were. But when it came down to it is, Disney wanted to tell a story that was meant for children. Whereas Warner Brothers just wanted to be entertaining. <laughs> so it was a case of, you could watch those cartoons still as an adult, and maybe not every joke. But if you listen to, if you watch Disney movies as well, as an adult, you see like there's certain things where you're like, oh. Like but how much of it is whitewashed or toned down? Like, number one, okay. Let, let's touch on the one that I think is going to be the best example here okay. of Disney going to extremes on either end. The Hunchback of Notre Dame. I haven't seen that in so long. But here's the thing, okay? The book ends with basically everyone dead. Esmeralda died in yeah. the, in the uh, execution. The night guy, whose name I don't remember, died during the whole confrontation. Frollo dies, and Quasimodo puts Esmeralda up in the tower on like a bed and just lays there with her and dies, refusing to move. And not my favorite Disney movie. And in in the stupid movie, we get gargoyles doing like a Stewie Griffin where you don't know if they're actually interacting with the universe in a way that everyone's aware of or not. And only the only person who dies is Frollo in some just Disney come up in sort of manner. And everyone's happy about Quasimodo because <laughs> he doesn't get the girl. And the other extreme is, we have a song like Hellfire, where it seemed like they were going to go somewhere. Yeah. So it's like, you set us up for like, maybe they're going to do something where they're, it may not be completely accurate, but they're going to say things don't always work out the way you want to. Yeah. In a way that really, like maybe even Frollo died and Quasimodo died, but the other two lived. I, I could have been on board with that. But instead we got, no, no, the only person who dies is the villain. That's a Disney movie. But it's not taking the audience as seriously as they should. Like, because if they, the audience is five-year-olds. It's PG, not, not G. Not G? It was PG. I don't know, I haven't seen since mind it you came these out days, in theaters. Mind you, these days, G and PG could be interchangeable. Yeah. Like, Inside Out was yeah. PG, and... I'm not a parent. I loved Inside Out. I loved Inside Out too, and I'm not a parent, but I would totally let like eight, five to eight year old watch that. They might have a lot of questions. I wouldn't take them to a theater to see it, but it's a case of you can have them sit there and watch the movie. And oh, you have a question? There okay, we can so discuss There was so much this. about that movie that people were um, very intrigued by it because it was like mentally stimulating. The, though it was very rudimentary in a way of sorry you had really only one positive influence within uh, the main character's head Riley was it? Huh? The, the girl Riley? Riley yes yeah you, all you had in there as like a positive influence was joy and your other emotions were I like disgust <laughs> disgust was underused <laughs> and I, I Louis Black was typecast as anger but then you also like you have those as a case of obviously Emotions that you don't want to be dealing with as someone. Those are your emotions. But they're not your only emotions, and joy is not your only positive emotion. Well, what else? There's uh, anticipation, okay. excitement. Joy and excitement are. Joy is joy is pure happiness. That's what joy is supposed to be. Excitement is a case of. But joy runs happy. Joy runs Riley's brain. Because yeah, because everyone has everyone has. Joy. Everyone has a prominent emotion. But do you notice that her mother's was sad? Yes, I did notice that. And her father's was anger. Was anger, yes. I did notice that. But it's a case of, you don't have just... But her father wasn't always angry. And her mother wasn't always sad. I it's understand just... that. I'm not saying that's the case. But it's a case of, everyone was boiled down to those five basic emotions. Even just the kid who got bumped into and had that whole... Going I think off, it was girl, just... girl, girl. Even he just had those five in there. I think it was just... Um... 
but you think it would be I think it was just a case of that they're trying to... I could see doing, like, even... A, so, just trying four. to legitimize, le, legitimize um, the emotions for younger but kids. At the same time, I could see you doing a 2-4, like, maybe you have this whole... Maybe you include anticipation in there, and so... Joy and sadness get sucked off into the abstractness of Riley's mind overall. Yeah. And you have anticipation in there with the other three emotions being like, it's going to be so great once we get home. Everything's going to be like it was. And having that positive effect in there and just not... Yeah, because all the others are sort of negative. Like, exactly. That's what I'm getting what, at. It was um, disgust, anger, and what was the other one? And uh, fear. Fear. I was going to say nervousness for some reason. Um, like... But did you also notice, too, there was a lot of mention about how Riley's were um, both sexes. And their parents, everything was one sex or one sex. Did you notice that? Her mothers were all I totally female. I totally did not notice that. Her, her mothers were all female. And her fathers were all male. But like, hers, I remember, were, hers I remember, were multi- I remember only hearing... Gendered. I remember only the ones who spoke in each head were either only male or only female. I just didn't notice particularly the character design was explicitly yeah. male or female. Yeah, if you notice like when they're sitting around that like round like conference table or whatever, all of her mothers were female and all of her fathers were male. But hers were both. And people were saying that maybe that she was like it was like a gender identity thing. I think that's more of a case of your talent pool. Mm -hmm. Like looking at from a purely logistical thing. Because if you think angry voice, the first person who comes to mind is probably Lewis Black. Let, let, let's let's be honest here. Um, and since C George Carlin died, who else do you have? I'm not known throughout most of the world, and people who are watching me here don't see me overly angry yet. You're pretty angry. Yet. There will be a day where someone's... Like, the most they see me for angry is that one... Tard? I, I can't use that. <laughs> I'm not even going to use that as a blooper. Oh, I feel terrible for that. I'm going to use that as a blooper. No, that's, that's bad. My all gold bloopers because I swear so much. That one ignorant person who was commenting on my second or third day video saying, Oh, well, people who are mentally ill tend to be bullies. No. Oh, I saw that, yeah. Yeah. That was just pure ignorance and the closest I've come to being outright angry. I was pretty angry about that. I made sure that I calmed down before I did the video responding to that moron. Mm -hmm. Like this, this is the most pure I'm being in terms of an anger response to him right now. I admit to that. And... It's pretty tame because I've had time to calm down about it overall. I'm still I'm not say happy it's been about a while, it. But, um, but I understand. You, you, I deal with customers. Customers. I'm glad right I work a factory. <laughs> <laughs> Customer service is uh, it blows. Again, I don't. I don't hate it. I just hate when you get the tail customers. If my buddy Adam and I had the money to invest together, we would probably both open this in Morton's. Why? Because we like the job. We're super Canadian. Well, we're Canadian. Mm. He's no You just have wine at some point. Do you know what it costs for a place like that to get a liquor license? First off, you can't be part of the franchise anymore on top of that. Oh. But you could just have a separate one. Where they serve wine and coffee. Well, I'll tell you what. I'll because you what. coffee I'll until you a what. certain time and then wine until a certain time. I'll tell time. you what. What? If such happens that we open it to Morton's, once we get enough money to open up a separate business, we will do a beer, wine, and coffee shop. How's that? A beer, wine, and coffee shop. Okay, whatever. We need to have a little bit of vodka for those people who don't like beer and wine. Come you on. like me? Yeah. Well, isn't that where the Bailey's comes in? Yeah, but there's vodka in that, isn't there? Bailey's. Like Is Irish it? cream. Oh, no. My mom made Heather cream once. What's Heather cream? It's like an alcoholic, it's like Bailey's, I guess. I don't know. I tried it and it tasted like Bailey's to me. But she made it homemade and it was pretty good, actually. It was like Doing Scottish, a, Scottish Heather Cream is what it was called. Doing an Irish Cream homemade isn't too difficult. It's just more tedious. Mm -hmm. And for someone who goes through it at the levels I do, it's not worth it. Yeah. yeah. Like, if you want it to taste a certain particular way or have a certain thickness as a special treat or something or as part <laughs> of something else, Absolutely makes sense but as like a regular consumption thing no just just go buy it yeah for real too milky though too milky well for you that's your weird lactose part. i had rum you want to know what i have rum and i mix it with iced tea it was fucking disgusting why did you ruin the rum that's why the rum's gone she ruined it 
My brother was like, what are you doing with horror in his face? Something <laughs> stupid. I was running out of Coke. You can't just drink the rum straight. I could. But? But I didn't want to be perceived as There isn't rum, Dad. I have rum. There is rum. There is rum. I didn't want to be perceived as my I just straight shot in it. She says, drinking wine out of a water bottle. Listen, I most got my wine. Look at it. Yeah, because she's drank Fair most of it. Any. Aside from what her pants and my dog have had to drink, <laughs> this is you all. You had a sip. A sip. A sip. You've had you more took... sips out of this. No, than I, I had, had one sip and one smell. You've had like four sips. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. you smelled, and I asked you why a sip, and you've had like three sips since then. No, I have one sip, and now I'm gonna have two sips. That's like your fifth. Cream. I don't have a problem with you having some. Creamsicles. Just be honest about how much you're drinking. Oh my god, creamsicles. That's what I want I right now. You. Or, or pink popsicles. Pit. I've had pink popsicles in a long time. I know. Guys, we are so off topic. I know. So, more cartoons. <laughs> Come with cartoon. I don't know. Come on. You want to know what comes to my mind right now? What comes to your mind? And it's so stupid, Kim Possible. That was another one I never watched. That one, though, didn't actually directly appeal to me. Come on. If you want though, to though I have heard the naked mole rap more times than I can. Yeah, to. naked mole rap. Can, can you do the naked mole rap? <laughs> I don't know. Come on, part. listen to the mole I used rap. To, I used to know it. I used to know it. You, you, know, you know who played Ron Stoppable, though? Did you ever uh, watch Boy Meets World? Yes. Eric Matthews. Really? Eric was my favorite. He was so dumb and so sweet. Eric was a lot of fun. What, what I, what role oh, I'm... I just watched a thing, just off topic. I just watched a thing that um, the guy who plays Mr. Feeney did an interview, and he was so adorable, and I thought he was dead, but he's not dead. No, he's not dead. He's still around. Did you eat reds? No. I dropped one in my cock, so. There you go. I'm gonna have some. See how adult we are? M&M's and liquor? And talking cartoons. While I sit here with a desk full of painted models. Mm -hmm. Because I'm all the adult. Look at my toys. I've been, coloring, the, I've been coloring this new... Cake frosting. Mm. Not for cake. Yeah. Do you remember My Pet Monster? Vaguely. I don't remember too many of the plots. I just remember having a lot of fun with that cartoon. And my brother actually had a My Pet Monster toy. Where it had like the handcuffs and everything. Yes. And the handcuffs could be pulled apart. They were small if you could wear them as a kid. Do you, do you remember any of the characters? I really vaguely remember it. I don't remember any of the kids' names except for the one with the white jacket and the black hair, Chucky. I can't... I like Rugrats for now. That was a cartoon that I only caught occasionally like Rugrats. Hmm. I love Rugrats, particularly Angelica. Oh, why? Because I am Angelica. A spoiled twat who needs to die? Yeah. Well, I can be forgiven for this. Or we'll just kill with alcohol poisoning. Hey. Drink. Drink now. But there's oh. no straw. <laughs> this hat looks so weird on me. Well, I'll take it back. No, no, no. My hair is frizzy and I need Make to up your it. mind. <laughs> that, that might serve as the intro. Mmm. <laughs> You're old? You're old. Yeah. Talking to the guy who brought dirt here. I'm 27. Oh, so old. Listen, for me it's old. My brother told me I'm on the cusp of 42. Your brother made a Douglas Adams reference. Your brother's dating a guy, or at least seeing a guy with a blue man bun. I will make sure that doesn't make it into the video. Okay. I, I but will, for uh, real, I couldn't even make eye contact with that guy. <laughs> I was like, oh, hi. And as I was thinking my popcorn over here. Mm, popcorn. I don't have it. You know what I got? Jiffy Pop. I haven't had Jiffy Pop in so long. Like, you know Jiffy Pop. So yeah, cool. I know Jiffy Pop. I don't know why I'm doing this hand gesture. 
I'm gonna stop doing that now. <laughs> well, at least it wasn't another one that I could do that would be very, very inappropriate. Pardon me? At least it's not one that I could do that would be very, very inappropriate. Think vertically. Gotcha. Do you? Do mm. you really? I do. M&M's. Yes, I'm M&M's. And liquor. I'm almost out of wine. Take the red one. No, not all of them. Just I there. didn't take all of them. Uh-huh. I think you got the same now. Fine. Happy now? Mm-hmm. Poke? This is the only time he's gonna let me poke him. Normally he would... <laughs> Stop tickling me. He would do that. Stop. Stop. I'm wearing my wine socks and Trisha's sleeping. So shh. No, my glasses. Don't do that. Don't hurt my glasses, please. I'm not I'm hurting your glasses. I need new glasses. Stop. You need both. Let me see yours then. Alright. Blind this. Can you think of other words? Blind this. Everything. Blind the back? Holy, I can't even see anything. I can see a little. I can see your face, but it's all distorted. There's a little softer on the edges. You look weird. I can't do stuff. How weird do I look? I don't know, I can't see. I haven't worn wire glasses in like 10 years. Yeah, you do these glasses you can't side eye out of, and then you try and side eye me all the time. Hold on. I can side eye you now. How's it feel? Feels pretty bomb. Maybe you should start getting wire glasses. Because I'm blind. Is it creepier with yours or with mine? Hold on. <laughs> Alright. So, is it creepier, yours or mine? Yours. <laughs> you can't see, anyways, because our glasses are so blurry. Alright, so we're incredibly off topic. <laughs> Again. Yes, shadow, get down. Shadow. Down. Now. Come here. We're incredibly off topic. Come here. And so I will cut together. Sit. What the actually. Sit. Sit. You don't want to see me. Sit. Now. Hey. So we're incredibly off topic mm -hmm. again. And so I think we'll cut the video here. Is there anything you'd like to say to everyone at large? She's shy! I'm not shy. I'm antisocial. So that's all we're gonna do tonight, because we're dragging out and kind of rambling, and this video has run way long, because we've been recording <laughs> way longer than you realize. <laughs> but yeah, we've been shooting this forever, we haven't stayed on topic, and I'm not drunk enough yet, so I'm gonna finish this and go mix a new one, and I will talk to you all later today, because this will only go up on Friday. Everyone. Have a good, good Friday.